Let's go. How are we doing today? Hey, so look, the first money move. All right. And if you don't know it, I'm going to tell it to you right now. And yes, I'm talking to you. All right. Don't be looking around. Don't be looking. Oh, that can't be me. I'm talking to you. Listen to this video right now. You need to understand the first money move because you probably don't do it, nor are you actually applying it in your daily life. All right. So what, what is the first money move? Well, let's talk about all the options, all the things that we hear, hear out there. It's about investing, right? I always hear, oh, well, we probably need to get like stocks. All right. I also hear people talking about another money move would be like a side hustle. All right. Uh, that would be good. All right. Another uh, one could be uh, get educated. All right. That could be good. All right. Another one that I've also heard is buy real estate. All right. And you guys know I'm a big fan of real estate. All right. All these, these are great. These are great. Don't get me wrong. All right. But none of these are the first money moves. So none of these are what you need to be focused on right now. The very first money move that you need to be doing all right. You can start right now. You can start today. All right. You can start right now and get going. Okay. And here's the reality is the very first money move that you should be doing. Okay. Is live below your means. I cannot stress it to more. Live below your means. Everyone out there is trying to keep up with everyone else, trying to buy the fancy cars, trying to buy the fancy uh, bar tabs, right? All the stuff, right? Trying to keep up with other people's perceptions. The reality is you need to start living below your means, okay? Because the only person that's going to take care of you is you, all right? So start, start living below your means. Don't worry about other people. Okay. But why is that the first money move that you need to be making right now? And why is that going to be important? Okay. Because you're probably thinking, DJ, I, I got stocks. I'm crushing it. I got a side hustle. I'm making all this money. The reality is you need to be living below your means because I know hundreds, if not thousands of people that crush it. They make so much money. All right. But they are not financial literate. All right. What does that mean? That means that they actually don't know how, don't know how money works and can't keep money. I know a lot of people that make a ton of money and can't keep their money. Okay. Cause there's a saying that I always say, okay. All right. Whether you are making a thousand dollars. Okay. Or you're making a million dollars. Okay. And we see this in the lotto all the time, right? doesn't matter which one you're making. If you can't keep money, if you don't know financial literacy, doesn't matter if you have a thousand or a million, you're going to lose it because you make bad investments, bad decisions. All right. So you need to be living below your means because that's going to teach you financial literacy. So how do you start living below your means? Okay. Number one, start making a budget. Okay. You need to make a budget every single month on where you're going to spend your money. Okay. Starts with a budget. Okay. If you have a budget, now you understand how much you can spend on each thing, how much you can spend at the grocery, how much you can spend on a car, how much you can spend on, uh, you know, uh, going out having fun, right? All these things, how much you can spend on utilities, how much you can spend on rent house, whatever it might be. All right. You need to put a budget and you need to stick to it. Okay. So you need to be accountable. You can go get a bunch of apps. There are a ton of apps that you can do budgets with. If you have a significant other, all right, you can put to put together a budget on your little notepad on your iPhone, share it with them. All right. And then you can talk and you can outline the budget. And then every expense that you make, if you really want to get down to it is after you may, after you buy something, you write it down and it's on that shared notepad. So you guys both see it and can be, uh, make sure that you guys are accountable, but you need to start with the budget monthly budget and stick to it. All right. So you guys have to be accountable. Use an app, use a notepad, use something out there. Once you have that budget, now you can really start to compete because now you can actually stay on a budget. Now you, you're starting to snowball uh, some success. All right. Now you can start to say, Hey, we're spending a hundred bucks on groceries, right? Let's actually get that down to 75. All right. Now you can start to really live below your means. All right. You start cutting down your expenses and now we're living an efficient lifestyle because what's, what we're going to do is all that extra coin that we make, then boom. All right. It can either go into stocks. It can then get, go into real estate or if we already have a budget. Okay. Now, boom, if you have a side hustle, 
that you're making more money. This is just icing on the cake that's gonna go right to your bank account. But until you're, don't, until you're not living below your means, okay? Until you're living below your means, you, you don't need a side hustle. You don't need extra income. You need to understand what you already have and keep that, okay? So the very first money move you need to start making today, today, all right, is living below your means, all right, and putting together that budget. All right, that's how I started. I started at 22, I was living well below my means. All right, I was living in a house that I bought. Okay, my mortgage was $450, maybe 500, including utilities. Okay, but I could easily afford a $1,000 place. I could easily afford a luxury apartment with a pool with people my age and had a lot more fun. But I did the sacrifice then at 22, 23, 24 years old so I could actually get to where I'm at today. And I continue to make sacrifices and live below my means so I can continue to uh, increase my lifestyle for my future, all right? So I'm just practicing what I preach, okay? That's how I started, and that's how you can start too. So don't worry about any of this until you can start living below your means, live on a budget, all right? So you can actually start to snowball some of that money, put that in a bank account, put it away, set it and forget it, and then you'll be able to reinvest that into something that can actually create more money for you. That's how you get on the financial freedom path. That's how I did it. That's how you can do it too.